the body. Ego my train party up. Add a dear dim song for the party mini soul is on junk cook gonna every Hey guys, what is up? It's Shadow here and welcome back to this new video. So this video is a quick tutorial guide for you guys who want to do animation in MMD. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I make my Naruto 3D animations in MMD. It is a free software that you can use to do simple 3D animations. And today I'm going to show you how to set up MMD and uh, how you use effects and basic tutorial but it's gonna be a quick tutorial so I'm just going to show you how MMD work and its features and functions and how you can apply effect that I use in my Naruto animation videos that exactly look like Ninja Storm I'm gonna show you how I do that so I hope this video gonna help you out and uh, yeah let's get started so first you have to come to this website it is called learn mmd i will give the link in the description so you can check it out so you just have to go to this site and scroll down and here it is these two pictures so you can download it for 32-bit computer and also for 64-bit you don't have to do anything just click the icon and it will directly download it to your computer it's that easy another thing that you have to keep in mind that your computer should have these packages installed already otherwise MMD will not run also you can download it for 32-bit computer and as well as 64-bit next you have to download this one this is called MME effect without this you can't apply any kind of effect to your video or your animations so I'm gonna show you how you set up this and um, yeah so now I'm gonna show you how you set up MMD you don't have to do anything just you just have to unzip the file that you have just downloaded and that's it so there's one thing that you have to do to enable MME effects in MMD just go to MME and copy these three DLL files and paste it in the root folder of MMD that's it now when you're gonna open MMD you will see the MME effect option on the top right corner if you wouldn't copy these DLL files to MMD root folder this option will never show up so this is MMD this is the software with which I make my animations and at first it's gonna look complicated but it's not it's really easy so this is viewport where you will see your animations and video stuff like that this is timeline where you animate your characters by using keyframes this is interpolation curve section you can use them to smooth out or ease out your animation flow you would have a smooth motion this is model manipulation panel where you will load your model just click load and load your model this is camera panel where you will do some camera movement this is light manipulation panel where you can manipulate light i'm gonna show you in this video next is self shadow manipulation where you can manipulate the shadow of the object on the model this is accessory manipulation panel where you can manipulate or load the extra accessories i'll show you soon in this video and these two panels are pretty straightforward this is a view where you can view the front back left right of the model or the scene and this is play or pause you can check this checkbox to play it from the frame particular frame so yeah let's load a model so i'm gonna be loading a stage so this is a stage model you can download these models from free from DeviantArt 
I'll give the link in the description. You can check DeviantArt out. Just you have to type MMD space the model's name. So yeah, this is a stage. So first of all, I'm gonna be showing you some camera movements. So you can move your camera using these key points right here. You can make them pan. These are all pan options. This is light manipulation as I have told you. So yeah, there's another thing I'm going to tell you quick. In animation, MMD uses registering. You have to register a keyframe or the position to animate. Just like here. If I'm going to move this mess, this just selected its center bone and just move it a little upward. Okay it's a little upward from the grid and when I change the timeline it comes to its previous position so to make it stick on that axis just go up and register it bone manipulation in bone manipulation you have to register it see and we got one interpolation curve you can use them to this is not used in stages you can use them in you know easing out the animation of a model all right now i'm gonna load a model so to load a model you just have to go to this model manipulation panel click load and load your desired model i'm gonna choose Porto here so i'm gonna show you how the effects work go to mme effect effect mapping there is two models right here because we have already imported two models it's stage and borto so i'm gonna choose borto you can also choose both of them if you want to apply the same effect on both of these models so i'm gonna choose borto set effect i'm gonna navigate to my effect folder and i'm gonna select my effect i use hard tool 2 to make to give this that kind of ninja storm effect so just choose it and here you can see the cartoon is shredder right so don't worry I'm gonna give the link in the description I have made a compressed zip file in which all my effects which effects I use are all in that zip file so you can use them straight ahead in MMD so for stage I will set and other effect just like this looks sketchy but yeah for stage it's good I guess you can adjust the lights this is just for demonstration so yeah you can adjust the lights like this or like this yeah and you have to register it just register it otherwise the light will be the light will go to its default state so this is the effects I use for my animation and there are other effects too like I use this one extra effect called anime texture screen uh, I'm gonna show you that just anime text a screen act dot x and it will give a smooth white glow above your screen I don't know but you should have noticed in some anime series they use this kind of glow white glow effect on the top of the screen so I use a screen dot x to give that effect and it look more like an anime don't worry all these links are in description you can download the whole compressed file and use them so this was a quick tutorial how I make my video, how I use this software and that's all. So this is how you install MMD and this is how you import effects into MMD. And uh, for more animation tutorial just let me know in the comment section should I make that. And yeah I see you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, that's it for the video, shout out.